Choose a quest. Uh, two. Oh, okay, we can see how many chapters there are. So there's only like three chapters in this one. So hopefully they're a bit shorter now. Um, is there any spoilers in like the, the titles? I think this one's called The Council. Yeah, just jump right there. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's do it. Let's go on to chapter two, part five, I guess. Whatever. How many times must I tell you? You must never put your life on the line for me. Mother has always had a fascination for Lord Mortimer, but has never wanted to tell me why. We are doing our utmost to find your mother as quickly as possible. Without your mother, hundreds of men of the cloth would have gone to the guillotine. All I can tell you is I'm looking for my sister. Do you believe your mother capable of torturing a child? An agreement for cannons. Lord Mortimer assured me that you are to take over the project on behalf of your mother. Johann Christoph von Wollner, Minister of Religious Affairs, and Jacques Perrou, French Revolutionary Tribunal Judge. You will find that Lord Mortimer is not what one would call conventional, Monsieur de Richet. I do apologize for being late. I was obliged to clear up some urgent business. Uh, I don't think I have any books I can read. Nope. Okay, none. I can equip two and I don't have any. <laughs> Lord Mortimer's office. 1793. Nice. And this fucker is saying like shit and puke. At last we meet Monsieur de Richet. Do you mind if I call you Louis? Please do. We? Oui? Thank you. I wish to apologize wholeheartedly, Louis. I made you cross the seas. What the fuck's and oh, a bird? I wasn't here to welcome you. When I asked you to join us here, it was of course in the hope that you would help us find your mother. Unfortunately, I am now confronted with another problem, which I would rather have done without. You see, last night, Miss Adams also went missing. Uh, I'd like to know more. Do I? Is this free? Yeah, it should be. Oh yeah, it's free. And why is that? Can you tell me more? I have had my people searching for her all over the island. Alas, I did help no her escape. Avail. It so happens that both her mental and her physical health are extremely fragile. I'm worried that the same thing happened to her as to your mother. Also, I would appreciate it very much if you could tell me what you were doing on the floor in her room in the early hours it's quite of the morning. normal I, I can explain everything oh that's quite normal well, i'm glad to hear it you see sir gregory is about to arrive and he's taken elizabeth's disappearance very very seriously please reassure him so that we can talk about your mother i was off my tits in it mate William, I would like to see you a moment before we begin. In private. Let's step outside a moment. Leave me here so I can read really? that letter, please. This will only take a few moments. Are they actually all just going to leave me? They're actually just going to let me read this letter? Search the study or wait. Fuck it. Alright, let's take this chance to look around. I, I I know they'll catch me doing this. YOLO. Wait, let me get that honey before I get caught. Actually, obviously they're not going to come back for a bit, so let's grab all the things I can first. That's a pretty cool painting. Like Attack on Titan. <laughs> um... Grab anything. Oh, there's a book over here. Oh, nice, a book to read. Leviathan. I like Thomas something or other. Inventory. Leviathan. Thomas Hobbes. God, am I good or am I good? Sort of. This is a witness statement against Bonaparte in Hillsborough. When asked what were you doing yesterday evening, Bonaparte replied, spent the evening playing cards with Sir Gregory Washington as Eminence Piaggi. 
is there anything here? No, there's nothing interesting there. Come out of the trial innocent. Oh, okay. We're doing a trial. Please, sit back down, Louis. No. This sort of behavior is not working in your favor, young man. I'll stretch really? my legs. Louis told me we needn't be concerned. Of course. Monsieur de Richet, the situation seems to escape your grasp, so I won't beat about the bush. Did you kill Elizabeth Adams? Yes. What? Uh, Elizabeth is dead? No. Now let us remain calm. We do not yet know, Gregory, precisely what has happened to our poor Elizabeth. I beg your pardon? I so, so what, are you, what are you accusing me of, then? Oh, look, all we of my negative perks are, are gone now. We have found no Sweet. evidence that would suggest that Elizabeth has been murdered. For the time being, she has only disappeared. Let's stick to the facts, if you please. Well, where is she, then? Uh, let me just check this fella. Who the heck is this? <laughs> What's this asshole? Gregory. Oh, I don't know any of his stuff. Um, this That's free, so I guess we use that. We might be immune to it, but we'll find out. Technically, I I'm simply incapable of telling you where she might be, and we never talked about her destination. What I can say is that the last time I saw Elizabeth, she was in her room, and she just decided to leave the island. Gregory, you must admit that just because Louis doesn't know where Elizabeth is, does not prove that something's happened to her. All right, succeeded. Damnation, William. This is a fiasco. Sir, you don't seem to realize just how serious this is. Let's try and remain calm, Gregory. In any case, it would be far better if Elizabeth really has left the island, as Louis says. Why do you think she wanted to leave? Oh, probably not the, the advised one. Um, phew. I mean, I've got blunders. Let's do that one. It feels safe. She was persuaded she was going to die. When, when she saw that you had invited my mother, she thought that you wanted to put an end to her. She felt betrayed. But why didn't she speak to me about it? Elizabeth had nothing to fear from us. You know very well who she was afraid of, but you don't dare say. Oh, okay. I've only got one more chance. I, I, I assume it's this. She was terrorized by my mother's presence here. Just the thought of coming face to face with her was unbearable. Did she tell you why? Yes, she brought the subject up. I'm sorry, Louis. It couldn't have been easy to hear. For your sake, I sincerely hope that she got there All right, safe. Monsieur de Richer, I apologize if my words seemed a little... I'm a lawyer. Abrupt. I dare not think what would happen if Elizabeth came across your mother on the island. Your generosity may well cost you dearly. I understand, my lord. I certainly regret it. You don't need us for any of this. So come along, Monsieur Peru. We are leaving. Right. It's time we spoke about your mother, Louis. Um. She seems to be making every effort to steer clear of your guests. What, what do you mean? For the past few weeks, my mother's been playing cat and mouse, if you will. I don't know why, but it wouldn't surprise me to learn that she's trying to avoid someone. The question is, who? And in your opinion, would she be the cat or the mouse? Presumably the cat. Knowing my mother, she would be the cat. That doesn't make me feel any better, Louis. What was the official reason why my mother came to your island? I knew about your mother's activities and yours in the Golden Order. I thought we had everything to gain by working together. You mean the cannon deal with Monsieur Bonaparte? Among others, yes. How did you hear about that? Monsieur Bonaparte came to speak to me about it yesterday during lunch. I see. So impetuous. 
He was supposed to let me speak to you about it first. Our friend Napoleon desperately needed financial backing to properly equip his army. I took it upon myself to back him, because I have a firm conviction that he can go far. We shall see. However, there's one thing that surprises me. Um. <laughs> I, not, I don't care about either of these. Isn't Bonaparte a bit young to deserve so much attention? Well, you come straight to the point. I like that. Indeed, if you knew just how much you remind me of him. Trust me, I'll wager that Monsieur Napoleon will soon prove himself. I'm working on it, at least. Once this deal was closed, I had big plans for Sarah. Such as what? You see, I've invited several influential figures on my island to present them with a project at the conference. It will be presented later today. I thought that the Golden Order had a role to play. And I still think so. I was hoping Sarah would be able to join us. Hmm. It took until the second episode to find out why we're even here. If Jesus. Chance, your mother decided not to return to us before the conference. Would you do me the great honor of attending? If only to no. follow the deliberations while waiting for her to duly take her seat. Why not? We shall see. Ah. I mean, yes, why not? Thank you so much. In this way, you'll be able to keep your mother informed of what he said. Um... There's something else I'd like to briefly go over. Earlier, you asked me the official reason for your mother's presence here. Is there an off-the-record reason why your mother came here? Uh, I have no idea. Uh, I don't know if that's true, because I do not remember. If only my mother had trusted me, but she remained very mysterious. I'd have been delighted to answer your question. Is this usual for her? As head of the Order, secrets are her bread and butter, as you can imagine. That said, it's the first time she hasn't let me in on the reason for her trip. And it intrigues me, to tell you the truth. Well, I'm sure that Sarah will explain everything once she reappears. There's something I still don't get. In your opinion, why would your mother remain in hiding over several weeks? Um... It's one of the two. I think it's that one. Her not coming back to the manor after so long makes me wonder if she is wary of someone. Well, certainly. But whom? The only ones who were present during her stay were Sir Gregory, Duchess Hillsborough, Mr. Von Bulmer, and myself. Could be any of them. <laughs> um... And Adams, I guess. You forget Elizabeth Adams, my lord. That's true. But Gregory and I arranged it so that they wouldn't run into each other. I, I thought it had worked. Do you think that your mother felt she was in danger because of Elizabeth? It's possible. The only thing I can tell you is that Sarah had indeed changed. At the beginning of her stay here, we enjoyed spending time together, solving the world's problems. Tell me. Tell me about her disappearance. Since she disappeared, your mother has been seen once. Her behavior on the evening of your arrival greatly surprised Gregory and myself. She resurfaced to attack Emma, Emily Hillsborough's twin sister. And she shot her with a pistol. Then, before Gregory could intervene, she ran off and disappeared again. I beg your pardon? Hang on. That means my vision on the wharf, it, it was actually happening inside the manor. Mother shot Emily's sister, the very person she came looking for. Why would she do that? Excuse me, but between that and the childhood of Lady Adams, it's, it's all a bit much for me to cope with. I need to piece it all together again to see things more clearly. You said that you spent a lot of time talking together at the beginning. What happened for that to change? I'm afraid I, I haven't much to tell you. The more the days went by, the more she withdrew into herself. She never gave me an explanation. Until the day came when she purely and simply disappeared. Where, where did she go when she wanted to be alone? 
She would shut herself away in a room we use as a box room upstairs. I hope they would mean a boxing me room. There? That would be sick. Naturally, Louis, of course. I'll send you a servant to open it. Thank you. That's all I can tell you about the disappearance of your mother, Louis. I would like to have been more helpful. I shall stay on her trail and follow up any leads. Thank you. Uh, we will meet later on to welcome our last guest. In the meantime, I shall get someone to open the box room upstairs for you. Thank you. Thank you. I don't remember who the last guest is. Maybe I don't know who it is. It's gonna be like Einstein or something. Mm. The room is just opposite Mortimer's study. Things? No things. Well, what is Mortimer's study? <laughs> Just run one way and he'll tell me if it's the wrong way. It was literally just a random door? <laughs> okay. Hey, look, things. There are burnt papers in the chimney. There's a legible fragment left. Hey, I recognize my mother's handwriting. She says we must find a safer way to communicate. Someone is on to us. Trust in my faith in the man with the sword. So mother had an accomplice here. Who could it be? Who could she be suspicious of? I must find the next part. Faith, sword. <laughs> I recognize her love of riddles there. Ha, ah, as do I. Consult my notes. Oh, okay. It's gonna be like some painting or something. Dante's Paradise. Raise your head and be reassured. What is this disc? <laughs> he does not care about. Uh, oh. Yoink. Didn't care about Dante's Paradise. I have to look for something with a sword or something. That's not a sword. Okay, we don't need to go outside. We can go through here. Oh, no, we can't. Okay, it's got to be something in this room, then. The door appears to be locked on the other side. Open? <laughs> I think I heard something fall to the ground. A metallic sound, like, like a key falling to the floor. I'm going to need something to help me get the key that fell on the floor. The door was closed from the inside. Would Mother have provided something within reach to recover it? A sword. Use the disc. We'll see if it works. Ah. Neat, I guess. I'm glad I've buffed up logic so much. It makes these little puzzles like a it's lot open. easier. Okay, now I look for faith in a sword, I guess. And also, little collectibles. A chest with the occult symbol representing air. Oh, wow. Difficulty 7. I don't have any keys for that one. I don't have many keys, just in general. 